Toyota is leading a big change in the car industry with its new hydrogen-powered vehicles, challenging the popular electric cars. Starting back in the early 90s, Toyota has been at the forefront of hydrogen technology. Today, they've introduced the Mirai and the luxurious Toyota Crown sedan. These cars don't just aim to stop pollution, but also offer an environmentally friendlier option compared to electric vehicles, which depend on batteries that can harm the environment. Join us as we look at how Toyota is not only changing the way cars are made, but also helping create a cleaner, greener future. Toyota has finally manned up and has had enough when it comes down to the EV industry and comes up with their completely new zero-emission hydrogen-powered car that will make EVs completely obsolete. What is this new vehicle and what benefits in using hydrogen as a car fuel will be made over EVs? But wait till you hear the new Toyota CEO out there basically saying that their new hydrogen car will overrun the car industry. Toyota is not new in the hydrogen vehicle category. In fact, from the time they actually started the development of hydrogen cars, 1992, the first name that usually pops up in the roll call of automakers pursuing fuel cell vehicles is Toyota. First to market with an FCEV in 1996, Toyota would use the first generation Toyota RAV4 as a base for its first ever FCEV. Of course, this was merely a prototype and Toyota continued over the following decades with more advanced ideas and prototypes until finally, they managed to debut in 2015 the first commercially sold hydrogen-powered vehicle ever. Toyota succeeded in making the Mirai. It has all been possible with record-breaking hybrid technology as the basic concept of hybrid power adapted to producing fuel cell electric vehicles in very limited sales of the first generation Mirai. The car was sold only in Japan and California. However, all this has been done by planning. Toyota wanted to see how its hydrogen-powered cars would perform in reality. Even if there was no Mirai in the streets, it was classed as a success and so gave life to the next generation which was to be much more ambitious than its predecessor. The second generation Toyota Mirai, unlike its predecessor, which was very much like a Prius, is a proper luxury saloon that gives exemplary levels of luxury and comfort while being incredibly good looking. I mean, seriously, look at it. Isn't she a beauty? The sales figures have also more than doubled those of the first generation, since there are already tens of thousands of Mirais on the road. And that is, even though the second gen was introduced just two years ago, it's because, unlike its predecessor, the ongoing Mirai is sold in the United States, Europe, and Asia, thus proving that the market of FCEVs is blooming and therefore is one of the reasons for Toyota Motor Corporation to move. And it means that the company has decided to show us something new in the segment of vehicles powered by FCEVs. What is this new vehicle? In fact, we lied to you. Toyota, in all honesty, decided not to show one but two FCEVs. First of all, Toyota has decided to improve the ongoing Mirai model. The outgoing Mirai did promise well in many aspects but failed inside placing hydrogen tanks under rear seats and the central console. Although it shares its platform with the much larger Lexus LS, the new design of the Mirai will bring improved placement of the tank to increase legroom and headroom. It will also expand the trunk capacity, which in this car is just 321 liters, considering its length of 4,991 mm. Beyond the interior changes, there will be a new trim level named the Toyota Mirai Sport, which has profound aesthetic differences over the standard Mirai. Up front, expect a radical redesign of the bumper that pushes away from the standard chrome-infused grille. The Mirai Sport has a lower grille, similar to that of the latest Toyota Prius, only smaller and closer to the ground with three slits above the license plate. A black trim piece added between the headlights will enhance its sportier look while the shiny black added between the headlights contributes to a more menacing appearance. Finally, the rear of the Mirai Sport is sharpened up and gains a few changes, including a glossy black finished rear diffuser to match the front of the vehicle. This is further accentuated by a subtle black rear spoiler and some body panels wrapped in carbon-style weave. 
For sure, the real problem of the Toyota Mirai is that it lacks any form of excitement in the driving since it is not engaging behind the wheel. To add some sportiness into the equation, the Mirai Sport has been fitted with a new set of wheels from Toyota. Out went the stock OEM wheels, and in came the BBS style 21-inch alloy rims with shoes from Michelin Pilot Sport S. This setup thus gives the car a chance to bite deeper into corners and cut better with surety, all with a more aggressive stance. The suspension has been lowered by 20 mm which, of course, isn't a massive distance, but importantly, that cuts body roll and, along with the excellent handling dynamics, makes this car sit visibly lower over its wheels. Moreover, it is also likely that the powertrain should make an improvement, given that the present one develops a rather uninspiring 182 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. The Mirai Sport, we believe, is likely to boast upwards of 220 horsepower and an excess of, thereby enabling the car to complete 0 to 60 in less than 7 seconds. This will be quite respectable and certainly a far cry from the current 0 to 60 time of 9.2 seconds. We would expect that to be considerably lower. Even the long-range Mirai has a shorter range than all other big alternatives. Still, since the XLE should offer around 402 miles on a tank, anything above that number would be considered acceptable according to Toyota's estimates. But Mirai wasn't the only car to come out with a Mirai, as Toyota will introduce its very first all-new Toyota Crown sedan, sharing the same platform with the current generation Mirai, but a bit longer at around 5.03 meters. It will also come with a premium-looking, all-new cabin compared to that of the Toyota Mirai. The exterior will look far more upmarket than the budget-conscious sibling, and the boldness up front is unveiled through the domination of a large, vertical-barred grille, much like the Mercedes Maybach models. The rims will give off class since they come with high-quality tires that are fitted on meaning the car is oriented to smooth out all imperfections on the road and be way softer than the Mirai and Mirai Sport. China has already shown its interest in purchasing large volumes of the upcoming Toyota models, with a preference for hydrogen over its EV equivalent. This would make us wonder what could be the benefit of using a hydrogen-fueled vehicle over an EV. The benefits of FC EVs over EVs are indeed numerous, but they can essentially be summarized by the fact that FC EVs are significantly greener. While EVs don't produce emissions directly, the energy they consume must be generated somehow, and this production often has a detrimental environmental impact. In contrast, FC EVs utilize hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, which doesn't need to be connected to the grid to recharge, highlighting their long-term environmental benefits. Moreover, it's estimated that a conventional vehicle would need to travel over 100,000 to 150,000 miles to emit the same amount of pollution generated by the production of just one electric vehicle. Furthermore, EV batteries are predominantly made from lithium, which is highly damaging to the environment, particularly around the extraction sites. Unlike EVs, which require powerful batteries, FCEVs use batteries that need considerably less power, allowing for the potential use of more environmentally friendly materials instead of lithium. This makes FCEVs particularly attractive for those committed to preserving our planet. Additionally, FCEVs have a unique feature. They help purify the air. By generating electricity from hydrogen, they produce water as a byproduct and release cleaned oxygen back into the atmosphere, effectively making them air purifiers on wheels. FCEVs generate electricity by combining hydrogen with oxygen, essentially producing water as a byproduct. When this water evaporates, the oxygen is returned to the atmosphere cleaner than before, thanks to the advanced filtration systems installed in these vehicles. This process allows FCEVs to actively purify the air in densely populated cities by recycling the air. FCEVs, or hydrogen-powered cars, create electricity by mixing hydrogen with oxygen, which makes water. 
This process helps clean the air because when the water evaporates, it releases purified oxygen back into the environment. Unlike EVs, which need electricity from power sources that may harm the environment, hydrogen is a cleaner option and very abundant. One big plus of hydrogen cars is that they don't require the heavy batteries that EVs do, which are often made with lithium, a material that can be harmful to the environment. Also, hydrogen could be cheaper to use in the future, making these cars more budget-friendly. However, hydrogen cars face challenges. They need special stations for refueling that aren't widely available yet, making it hard for people to use them every day. Also, storing hydrogen safely is tricky because it must be kept under specific conditions to avoid accidents. While hydrogen cars have a lot of potential for helping the planet, they still need more development to overcome these hurdles and become more popular. As we've seen, Toyota is not just innovating. They're pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the automotive world with their hydrogen-powered vehicles. The Mirai and the upcoming Toyota Crown are more than just cars. They are a glimpse into a future where driving doesn't harm the planet. While there are challenges such as the need for more hydrogen fuel stations and safer storage solutions, the potential benefits of cleaner air and a healthier environment make it a journey worth pursuing. Toyota's commitment to hydrogen technology invites us all to imagine a world where our cars help clean the air we breathe.